Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, sorry I'm a little late posting this week. I've been really busy working on a brand new camera raw course, which I'll tell you about in a sec. But before that, there's something really mind blowing that I've just discovered inside a camera raw. It's brand new, it's amazing. Come around, check it out, I'll show you. Are you ready to see something mind blowing? Check this out. All completely different poses. Let's control click, select both of these from bridge, right click, choose open in camera raw. So I'm just going to do a basic mask, but the magic is going to happen after this. So let's just go into create a mask right now. Let it select the people, choose person. Now we're going to choose all the different parts of the body. I've got other tutorials where I go more in depth into this, but I just want to show you basically how this works. So we're selecting all those different parts. And now we're going to create seven separate masks. This is important. If you don't do that, all the masks will be the same, just the whole person. Now we choose create. Now notice this has given us separate parts. I'm just going to make some adjustments so you can see what I'm doing here. So why don't we just, with hair selected, let's just make the hair pink. Let's just drag the color over a little bit. All right, we've got some pink hair. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can really clearly see what's going on. Then we can go through, we can do all these different things. So maybe face skin, if we want to soften the skin a little bit, we could go in and do different types of retouching. But what we're going to do is just scroll down. We're going to choose texture, drag texture to the left. And notice as we do that, it softens the skin. Don't go too far or it'll look like plastic, but go far enough just to kind of smoothen it out. You know, we could do the same things here with the eyes. We can fix the teeth, all of that. Once again, I've got all of that in another tutorial. I'll, I'll link to that for you. All right, so assuming I've done a full retouch, this is where it gets crazy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save a preset and this preset is gonna know where all the different parts are on the other photograph and apply them. Watch this. So I'm gonna go under the presets tab. We're gonna see the create preset. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna call it pink hair. I go in depth in all of this in my course that I'll talk about in a second. So here we're going to choose Photoshop Cafe. And this is the group that we're going to go to. Now, very, very important. Make sure you turn on masking. Everything else could be off if you want it. In fact, why don't we just take everything else? We'll turn it off. So we're going to choose none. So nothing is going to change except for the masking. And if you want to pop it open, you could choose which aspects you want to change, but we're just going to do all of them. And we're going to click OK. Now watch this. I go to the second image here. I want to make the same adjustments, the eyes, the skin, the body skin, hair, lips, whatever I did, teeth, you name it, all of it's going to happen. I'm going to go under the presets. I'm going to look for the one I created, pink hair, watch this, click on it, done. Exactly the same adjustments, the AI mask, has created all of those based on the new photograph and then has applied the adjustments that I've done intelligently. And that's how amazing these new masks are. Now, what I want you to do is check out my brand new course I just released today. Um, it's Adobe Camera Raw 2023 for digital photographers. It's seven hours worth of training from the ground up on the latest version of Camera Raw showing all the masking, the AI, in fact, every tool inside of Camera Raw. And for the next week, I'm gonna give you guys 20% off. I'm gonna give you a link underneath where you can check it out. And if that's something that doesn't interest you, no worries, check out my retouching video where I go more in depth in retouching into Camera Raw. And of course, all of this works exactly the same in Lightroom. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.